everybody, welcome to the Art of NFT Business. I am your host, Jonathan Goodman, the owner of Trigonal Gallery, with my co-host, soccer, professional soccer player, Florian Below. How are you doing, Florian? What's up, Jonathan? I'm good, thank you. Good, 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 good. So uh, we are going to talk about a whole bunch of things. We're going to talk about the Bonji Project, Unstoppable Domains, uh, and then we're going to give a review of Battleverse and Hate Beast. Uh, before we do, I, my lawyers have required me to say the following statement. This is not financial advice and should not be taken as financial advice. The views and opinions expressed in this video are purely speculative and do not guarantee any specific results. The NFT space is extremely volatile and has high risk. Never act on anyone's advice or opinions without doing your own research before investing, you should speak to a financial advisor. We are not financial advisors. I'm an entrepreneur and Florian is a professional soccer player. I am working on a generative NFT series. There are some projects that we will be speaking about that are, that are either owned by one or both of us or that we are whitelisted for. So let's talk about Bonji. What are your thoughts? Because I certainly have thoughts at this point. Um, I was, so we discussed a little bit about the, between us, about the, the launch and we were not really surprised by what happened in the first like 10 minutes of it, because what Bonji was offering was uh, a physical uh, piece for the first 200 people that buy the NFT. Uh, and uh, the price was fairly high for it, but what you could get was it was it was really um worth it and then when we reached that 200 mark it slowed down all the way down to until until the the dutch auction reached like 0. 0.4 0. 0.5 maybe 0. 0.4 and then it suddenly just started like when it went all out and then it was like sold out in in, in less than 30 minutes maybe i was yeah. super surprised i was <laughs> you know what what i think is amazing is that you have your thumb on the pulse of what's going on here. You have a better, I don't know what it is. I, every time that I think something's going to go left, you say it's going to go right and it goes right. And I, I'm amazed by that because you, you kind of knew that because they were offering these statues to the first, I think it was 200, right? Well, it's the first 200 and then every 33 uh sale or minting or whatever that person gets also a physical um piece right but the fact that after the 200 which was basically at, at the top price 3.3 which would be about 11 twelve thousand dollars which is great if you're getting a, a collector's item statue and that's amazing yeah. you spent the right amount of money for that that it just stopped and then everybody just sat there and waited ticked down because it went uh, every five minutes it dropped 0.1 uh yeah. ETH. and so we basically sat there for almost uh close to 45 minutes to an hour waiting no, more, for it more. Oh, more was like, it? it was like every five minutes so it was more like three two three hours oh, oh, oh okay yeah. so yeah so i was watching it i had my laptop and i was watching tv and i was just watching this go down and nothing was happening and nothing was happening nothing was happening then i think you had predicted that i think at the point Five when it got to point five. No, I thought I thought at one point five, uh, it was going to start. It was like kind of half price of what the the, the auction started off. Uh, and I, I had read a little bit of followed a little bit of the Twitter feed um, during that auction, but I was kind of completely wrong. I think it was. I was really surprised by how people kind of resisted of buying by fear, like but because of FOMO, they could have just be like, okay, I, I need to buy it right away. But it all went down when it hit like 0.5 and everybody was just starting buying, buying. I was considering buying one as well to get in the second one, but the gas fees were just like really, really high. Um, but I, we, we secure, we were lucky enough to secure one in, in, in pre-sale the next day. So I'm really excited about the reveal as well. So it's going to be really fun. Yeah, I, uh, I also thought that everything was going to sell out within, you know, the first couple of minutes, because you look at other successful projects and other well-marketed projects, 
and you know they start the auction. It was they don't start the auction, but they start the public sale, and it just sells out within eight minutes, twelve minutes, something like that. Here, you really had that gap between those people that wanted those statues and uh, and those people that wanted it as cheap as possible. And so they did eventually sell out, but it wasn't until it really got down to the point four point five. Where did they stop? They stopped at, at point three. But we have to keep in mind that three point three is probably like it's might be one of the highest uh, main price out there. And point three is still really high for a project. Usually it's point oh five, point oh eight, point oh seven. Yeah. Um, but it it did um, sell out really quick when it hit point five. Even at point five, it was starting dropping. Um, yeah. Now, I was now going, yeah, it was going through. Yeah, now it's like when you look at the floor price on OpenSea, it's like 0.65 the re- without the reveal yet. We've both, I'm sure, like received offers from bots at because uh, th- this project, I think it's the value of it, the utility of it, and, and the art is going to be really fun. And and no matter what what you get, no matter how rare is your NFT, I think. If you really like the community and the project, you just have to keep it. It could be a really good flip for people, but I think on the long term, I think you should keep it. But now I have a very, very big technical concern because it has been, I guess, since we were in the whitelist, the whitelist was the last thing to happen. And that happened on Friday, right? Friday, yeah. uh, today is Monday. Mm-hmm. That is 72 hours since the last one sold, and they have yet to re- reveal what everybody has. Now, I know from a technical point, because we're building this NFT project internally, and I need to understand how the code works, this is the easy part of this project. This is simply swapping out that little gif of that guy walking towards us in that in that space, you know, environment um, with a new image. And you're just it's simply a replacement. It's, it's a very, very easy call to just rewrite. Let me explain. So. So you're basically telling the IPFS, which is where all the images are held, uh, instead of pointing to this one image, now point everything to the correct image for each individual piece. The fact that they're having problems with that is is a just, in my mind, it's an absolute nightmare because, I mean, I don't want to speculate, but it means that they did not write it, I should say, the potential is that they did not write the script correctly to replace the the number that you're holding with the number that is in their catalog. And so but how, every, do you know, how, how do you know they're having a problem? Well, because it's 72 hours since the last piece was sold. Yeah, but it doesn't mean that they have to like reveal right away. Uh, I think I think They've done a really good job after the first launch that was like kind of a mess with all the bots and people wanted to buy it. And they did a really good job with the second launch. I'm sure they've learned from Makerverse as well that we talked about last week, how everything went down. They want to make sure everything once goes smoothly on the reveal as well. Well, I think that that's an amazing positive attitude when it comes to this project. Um, I just know technically mm. that it is literally a five minute code change if it was written the correct way, if they wrote the code the correct way the first time. Um, I don't know. I mean, at what point do you start even saying, um, hey, maybe something's going on here? I have no idea. Because we, we, they never really told people or told their... Um, um, told the community when was when when they were going to release and, and reveal do the reveal yeah um they were saying that after everything is sold out they will they will do it next week they never really said like a any given date so i trust i trust the project i trust the people behind it i think they're just taking their time to make sure everything's all right because it's i think the worst thing that 
that could happen for them is revealing and then something goes wrong again oh, yeah. after the first launch. So they've done a really great job of communicating what was going on, keeping everybody engaged. Um, so I'm really excited about what's going to happen this week. I think I'm really excited to see what my NFT is going to look like. Okay, good. So uh, your, your, get, your, your assumption is, is that there will be a reveal this week. Yeah. Uh, and if we're here next time Monday, uh, <laughs> we will be having a different part of this conversation. Sure. Right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, you, almost, you almost did not buy yours. So that was kind yeah, of Yeah, like we could talk about that. So, you know, I have kind of a gut reaction to certain things. You know, look, this is a redo for me. Everything that is happening in internet, in this version of the internet, with this uh, build out of the internet is exactly happening like the internet one dot coms did. And I was, I was involved in building all this, right? So it's amazing because the people that I'm meeting and I'm meeting and talking to people, we have a new conference coming up, uh, the first week of November, we could talk about that for a second because that's a not going great. Uh, I was going to use a word. I don't want to use a word, um, but uh, there's a concern there. And it, you know, the people that I'm meeting, the events that I'm going to, uh, all of this is so reminiscent of the dot coms for me that I'm almost able to kind of just go back to when I was in the dot coms and kind of foresee how all of this stuff is going to unfold, right? There's, you know, there's these hype masters. There are these influencers that are just pushing and pushing and pushing projects. Uh, they're, they're teaming up and they're, you know, you, I mean, look, I mean, I, we're going to, we're going to talk about one of these, the, the hype beast, right? And, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, it's, it's such a closed funnel you know, mon last Monday, you know, I heard about hype beast, right? From one youth influencer, and then all of a sudden, like the next day, I heard about another another mention of the hype beast, and it's just like boom, 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 boom. It's like this domino effect where everybody started talking about hype beast, and that's amazing. But it almost kind of becomes this internal funnel where all the information is about these specific projects, and there were so many other projects which I'm glad that, you know, you kind of said, let's talk about Battleverse. So I'm really excited about doing that. Before, before we get into all of this, I, I, yeah, so we, okay. So let's go back to, you know, you know, that, that kind of, you know, second, you know, um, you know, that gut reaction, right? So, you know, had the Banji project gone off successfully uh, and the auction had occurred the way that it did, yeah, I probably would have bought one at point three, knowing that I was on the whitelist for point two. But just something in my gut was saying like, are you really going to spend $800, $900 with gas fees on a project that was a week delayed because of technical issues? And you know, I still kind of like, I have that feeling with another one of the, the pieces that we're going to review tonight. Uh, I, I just had this kind of like knee jerk reaction of like, hey, you know what, you could go and buy five Panda projects and you could buy, you know, the mushroom thing that, that I wanted to buy and this other thing that I'm looking at buying with that money that you're going to be using to buy this Bonji project. Um, but at the end of the day, <laughs> What happened was uh, you said that you were going to give me money uh, for me to buy mine and then I would transfer it to you. Yeah. And I was like, well, there's no effing way that I'm going to do that because if the project does become like a board Ape Yacht Club and I then have to go through the rest of my life saying I gave Florian my Banji project and now it's worth $4 million. I just, I couldn't like, I, that couldn't happen to me, right? I just couldn't do that. So I, I dug in, I spent the money, uh, I didn't buy any more pandas. And uh, now here we are. Now we're both here in the same, you know, you're very optimistic that everything's going to work out. I hope that your optimism is correct. And we'll see, we'll talk about it next week. We'll have yeah, to find sure. out. 
No, I'm I'm pretty. That's why I wanted to buy this the other one because I was like, you're not gonna waste that whitelist um spot right. that, that 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 we got. Um, and I really wanted to get have a second one because I really love this project. I really love what's behind it. The people, the artists, the community, like everybody that's working. Like you, you know, they've, we've talked about it. They put their names on the line for this project. So that's why I've, I'm really, really um, uh, speaking like highly of it because I really believe in it. And, and I'm and again, like I'm really excited about the reveal and what's gonna happen in the future. Yeah, they have a good roadmap. They have good stuff going on in the future. They they're probably gonna do even more stuff. Um, so this is one of the projects I'm I'm really excited about that I own. So it's 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 really cool. Yeah, I, I hope I hope it works out, and I hope it, it becomes it something will. like. I, it I, I yes, it will. Yes, it will. Yes, you're right. <laughs> Very positive attitude. I like that. Um, so we also talked about during the week unstoppable domains. You uh, talked to me about it. I've really, to be honest, I haven't looked at it yet. Um, yeah. But you, you, you told me about it, so I'll let well, you talk about it. Yeah. So, so you know, again, going back to the dot coms, this unbelievable rush to buy URLs, right? Uh, the the domain names for websites. Um, I bought, uh, I you know, I bought a handful of domains in the beginning of the dot coms and. I kind of let them go, you know, one by one. And I just have a, a handful that I've kept for, you know, just because I, I know eventually it's going to be a good domain that I could use for something. Um, and this is this is a little bit different because there's there's two aspects that are very different to this. First of all, you so like I bought Jonathan Goodman dot wallet. OK, and as of November 15th, because right now, what you can so what you can do basically is buy that domain and then connect it to your MetaMask wallet, and then it lives on your MetaMask wallet. So you're able to say instead of you know how like if you wanted to transfer something or if I wanted to transfer you something, I've got a you've got to copy that long uh, series of letters and numbers and capitals and all that stuff, and it's it's dangerous because. If you don't copy the entire thing, if you drop one off, something, anything can happen to it, right? And instead, what this does is if you want to pass me something, you know, you're going you're gonna to pass me an NFT, all I have to say to you is jonathangoodman.wallet. Now, so I bought that, but it hasn't been completed yet because the gas fees, right? But now Unstoppable Domains is switching to Polygon. You asked me a whole bunch of questions about Polygon also. We could talk about that as well. Um, and so I will at some point transfer, I will connect my MetaMask wallet to all the, all the domains that I have because I, I now bought uh, Trigonal, a couple of the Trigonal stuff. Um, what we're we're going to you know, buy stuff because you know, if, if we're going the way that we're going with this, if we're heading into the metaverse, you have to have your dot wallet. You have to have your dot NFT, right? Yeah. And if you don't grab it and somebody else grabs it, then you know, you're know you going to wind up with a, a wallet that you don't want. And here's the, the second thing that's really amazing about this. It's 20 bucks and that's it for the rest of your life, for the rest of the life of that domain. It's yeah. not like uh, GoDaddy where you you have a domain and you have to every year renew it and, it and it costs money and everything like that. And it lives on the blockchain. As soon as I connect it to my wallet, it's written to the blockchain forever. Exactly. So you you turned me on to this project. Uh, and, and why did you like this? What were the things that you thought were good on this project? Um. I like that the fact that first of all, I really like the art. I think it's 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 really interactive, uh, really cute to be honest. The the team also is uh, not anonymous. Uh, they're they've put their uh, I think it's LinkedIn or Twitter, yep. Um, yep. so we know who they are. And I do really like the fact that it's um, creating a play to earn. Uh, space so meaning that when you hold one of their nfts which is right now the baby bots you will be able to use it to 
uh, fight uh, play against other other NFT holders in a, in a space, which is supposed to drop in November. Um, there's no real update yet, but I really, I really like this this NFT. I got one last week. Um, oh, did you? Yeah, I got one last week at a good at a good good price. Um, using that Rarity tool uh, website. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you use the trick that I showed you? Yes, yes. So I did. You, you, you should probably find me on. Uh, you could probably find me on OpenSea, and you could see the the, the bot that I have. But, um, yeah, I do I do really like this project. They're dropping another because it's different. Um, how you call that? Um, different. Um, like you have the babies, you have the, sh the the shrooms, and then you have another one, and they're dropping another. Uh, I don't know, say soldier combatant or whatever. It's the shrooms they're dropping on the twenty seventh. Um, but yeah, I use this this website. Uh, typed baby. Uh, it's baby. Oh, you didn't type in battleverse. You, you... It's not battleverse. It's baby combat oh. first generation. I think. Well, this isn't my computer has got too much stuff running on it to be able to function correctly. But it's basically it's these guys. Uh, it, is, it is the one that you have, yeah. This is the this, this, this yeah, this is the first generation. This is the first job they had. You know, so this scared me. This right here scared me. So this was stake 200 in ETH, battle an opponent, earn 400 in ETH. So, yeah, so basically the way I understand it, it's like, it's like you bet money, well, you bet money, you bet ETH, the, whatever amount you want against someone else. And if you win, you, you, you get the other one's uh, amount. So there's just telling you, like, if you put 200, I think you can win 400. Because the other one you, you're going to fight is going to put the same amount. But I would hope that we're not starting at 200. No, 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 no. It's, I think the way I, extreme. the way I, I don't know if I probably sometimes when I, I read in English, sometimes I, I confuse myself, but mm -hmm. you can put whatever amount you want. And then the system will find a, 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 an opponent that has matched your amount and then you fight. And then the winner gets the, 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 the pot. And how much did you spend on this? Uh, the one that I have costs me 0.017 or 18, which was like, it was before Ethereum increased. It was like maybe like $60. Ah, oh, that's actually really good because now I was just on OpenSea and I think it's selling for 0.6. Or no, 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 no. Point oh six, point oh, point oh six, right? No, you have point uh, you have point oh, uh, point oh eighteen. Oh, is that where it is? Yeah, I think the floor price is point oh, even point oh fifteen. I think. Let me That's check. And yeah, like the floor price right now, you can get um, number twelve oh four four zero, uh, point zero fifteen. Point zero. That's that's a great price. It is pretty high because they, I think they've dropped the price because Ethereum has increased. Yeah. Uh, the floor price like this weekend was point zero eighteen or sixteen. And do you know like what the stats are? Do these guys have have their own stats in terms of like how successful they would be in a battle? Uh, yes. So there's different platforms. I don't know if you if you really paid attention, but like you see the platforms they're standing on, there are three different types. Oh. Some of their some of them are more successful in different terrain. So oh. it depends on how or where you're gonna battle. That's what they are. Um, they are hoping like they're gonna create some kind of like because it's not out yet. I don't think you can play it, or maybe I did not really. No, it, it launches, in, they're saying uh, November. But like on the website, if you go on the website, you can see there's like a um, a short, like one page, um, 
at the top there's a one page oh the white paper yeah and there's the doc as well so like they give you <coughs> all the information in the doc and then the one page are, uh, it's a brief summary of what they want to do which is really like it's pretty detailed um so that's why i spent the weekend trying to like understand everything went through this um and then so on the right you can see like the the baby this is one the g1 that dropped and it did dropping the shroom the mushrooms like november 7 27th or something yes yes which is two days from now yep and maybe i should maybe i should grab one i mean so it's 63 dollars. that's not bad now the question really is you know here's the problem with these things is that you know everyone wants to say that they are going to build a game right but to build a really well to even just a, a a good game you know it's good it takes years it, yeah. it takes like two years so i everything is in such super speed in the nft world that i just i would be you know I don't know, getting in now, yeah, you may be early, but at the same time, so many things can happen within those two years. They could run out of funding. I mean, hopefully they, they've made enough money, although 0 0.015 is pretty cheap. But I guess, what oh. did they have? How many did they have? 11,000? No, they had 3,500, but they're dropping, they're dropping two other oh. group of fighters. Um, mm -hmm. And then I think the mint, I don't know what the minting price was, I think for the mushroom, the minting is like 0 0.05. So right there. And then the volume traded, um, I don't know how much it is. Let me see. Volume traded is like 366. And then you have the royalty. So they still get a bunch of money that I can use. That, but the reason mainly why I bought it is because there's a play to earn it. I want to kind of like get used to it, see how it works. Um, but the the reason why, I, I don't know if you remember, but I we talked about the polygon yes the polygon and the bridge and that's the reason why i asked you because the the drop of the second generation like the mushrooms is going to be on the polygon oh um blockchain oh. because okay. i th what they said was like the gas fee was so high that they want to do it on the uh, on polygon instead of ethereum well, that's a great idea. But then the robots are on Ethereum and then the mushrooms are going to be on Polygon. I mean, it said that I the game think, itself was going to be on Polygon. I think. Um, so did you understand what I was talking about when, you, when I was talking about the bridge? Did that make no, sense no, to you? No, really. But I'm probably, I'll probably watch a video and, and, and see how, how, how you can do it. <laughs> So, so let me let me try to explain it. It's very difficult when we're texting back and forth to kind of, you know, give you the, the technology kind of conversation. But essentially, you start off with Ethereum, you swap your Ethereum for Polygon, and then you use your Polygon to make a purchase on OpenSea. It, okay. But but you could only buy polygon enabled NFTs. That's why that mushroom they have to build it in the polygon blockchain. Even though the polygon is connected to the Ethereum, yeah. you have to do that whole switch, and that's where it kind of gets complicated. And people, you know, because because Ethereum costs so much that you have to kind of pre think about how much money you want to transfer to polygon because i think that there is a gas fee in that transfer i'm not sure about that i'm not 100 percent sure about that but yeah i mean i thought that this was interesting you know this of course you know the big question is like would you be better off buying an axie infinity three axie infinity uh you know animated characters because if you buy three then you're able to create babies. I think that's that's how that works. How do you spell um, Axie? Oh, Axie. A X I E. Yeah. Oh, there Axie. are so many. I mean, no, 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 no. On OpenSea. Yeah. Uh, then let me find the right one for you. Go go to the Axie Infinity website. They have like two eighty thousand. How much? Two hundred eighty thousand. Yeah, that would be right. Yeah, they have a lot. I didn't even realize that it was on open, so. But it seems like you cannot buy any. 
None are for sale? No. Let's see what these are. Yeah, 280. And, and it's a check, it's a blue check mark. So there you go. This one is a play to earn as well. Yes, this is the big one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The floor prices, there's no floor price because the price must be too high. Yeah, so not only is this a play to earn, but this is actually uh, where people are becoming scholars. And what that means is, so like if I had $1,000, I could buy three Axie Infinities and then hire somebody in the Philippines to play the game for me during the day, make the money, transfer that, and then I get a percentage of what that person played. Okay. And it's, it's totally revolutionizing the Philippines because they basically exist on like, I don't know, $5, five American dollars a week. And here they're able to do like, if they play every single day, they can make like $30 a week. So it's incredible. Then the scholars are making money off of that. And then you have a manager in between. It's like a whole business. Yeah. It's wild. I mean, that's that, what they're that, even. That, that's, the, that's the whole utility of NFTs, like creating opportunities for a lot of people, mm -hmm. for like artists in the first place, but also like second, third uh, parties. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it helps the industry from the artist side, from the technology side. From the user side, it, it and it and it allows everybody to get in. You know, you can even in El Salvador, right? So I was watching something in, about El Salvador today. Uh, 1.2 million El Salvadorians have bank accounts mm -hmm. now that they've switched to Bitcoin, and the president has supplied everyone who has a mobile phone with thirty dollars of Bitcoin. They have now over 3 million people that have that app on their phone that has money in it. So mm -hmm. they've completely bypassed the bank system. It's amazing. It's incredible. It's going to revolutionize all the countries that are suffering and are, and are having difficulty uh, with their economics. So this is definitely so you've already kind of gone in on this project. Yeah, I was like, I want to own another piece. And I, I looked it up and I did my own, own research read the old documents um understood what i understood and then i was like you know what just let's buy one uh, yeah and see how it goes like it was it was not really expensive so yeah i'm i may buy one uh when the price of gas goes down I, yeah i think i think to be honest i think you should probably keep the money and maybe find another project uh because oh. don't take my no. uh, judgment for granted or whatever because i don't know maybe i'm wrong but I'm sure you have other projects in mind that you want to use that Ethereum on. Um, yeah. And, and here's the other thing is that I'm really not a gamer. Yeah. Are you going to play this game? I am not a gamer, but I want to try to like, yeah, as I said, like just understand how this all play to earn work, how they create the game, how it works. And then, yeah, have an idea for the future. Because as you said, like we are really, really early uh in, in in this world and it's only going to get better it's only going to get faster things are going to move much faster and and i kind of want to understand it so it's it's kind of the reason why i got into it. it's more like to get into that new it's not new but for me it is new um the new universe of like able to buy something and use it to play and then potentially earn rewards yeah, and, and in this game, from what you've read, you don't need a robot and a mushroom, right? No, I think it's one or the other. Oh, okay. Uh, I could be wrong. I'm still going to go over it and maybe watch videos. There's some videos on it. Um, oh, okay. But I'll still do my research for sure. Oh, good, good, good. And, uh, and then the sale is on the 27th, so you may actually wind up grabbing a mushroom anyway. I think if I'm correct. So the sale, the pre-sale is on October 27th. The main sale is on October 28th. They have like 5,000 uh, battle shrooms, uh, they call it. Oh. The price is 0.05 on Polygon Ethereum, on Polygon Network. It's not a blockchain, it's a Polygon Network, so it's different. Yeah, I'm not familiar with whether or not uh, Polygon is a different price than Ethereum. I think I think it is. I think, I think it is a different price. Okay, yeah. and then... 
you get a discount on 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 the price for all the baby combat bots holders so if you own one of the baby bots you get like a 0.015 ethereum discount oh wow oh that's cool oh good 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 well we'll talk about it next week whether or not you grab one of those mushrooms i will i will let you know <laughs> let's uh let's talk about hape hap beast or hape I'll, beast. I'll yeah i'll let you talk about it. i've just really looked up today um their website is pretty empty. Uh, you have to go on the Discord to kind of uh, uh, get as much as information as you can. Uh, there is no whitelist as I've as I know of. Um, so I don't know where the hype comes from. Uh, there's no on the website. You don't know who the team is. There's no roadmap yet. Well, let me let me correct you on that because. Okay. Yes, we don't know who the team is, but we know who this artist is. And that's super important. So mm -hmm. this is uh, Digimental. And uh, this is his Twitter account. Uh, mm -hmm. So he has 12,500. We should also say that Hat Beasts has 34,000. And this is a very, very new account. They created this in July. Uh, there were 34,000 followers. They're only following 4,000. But... Watch this video and tell me what you think. It's yeah. right there. This is the one. Yeah. It's interesting. It's definitely interesting. I, I really like the art. Yeah, it's the, the 3D and then there, there's a lot of hype around the actual hate, the, the actual ape. Yeah. NFT. So there's a lot of like derivative project that came out of it. Um, but I really like, I think it's really cool. Um, so this is, so Matt Sapien is the artist and I looked into him and what I really liked is that when you go back, first of all, he was a freelance designer director for Chelsea football. So that was very cool. Uh, you know, he went to Leeds, he went to university of Bradford. Uh, you know, he has a, he has a super great, you know, lineup. So he started off, you know, design lead um, and then, freelance senior art director, freelance AD and digital designer, freelance lead digital designer, freelance senior ad and designer, uh, AD and designer, lead user interface designer, art director for AQUA, uh, freelance designer for Chelsea Football Club, design director for Signal Noise, and then he created this Digimon studio, which he's been running for over 10 years. Uh, you know, that says to me that he knows what he's doing. And then what I really liked is in LinkedIn, you can go in and you can read some of the things that people have said, right? He, he's yeah. received five recommendations. Uh, I worked with Matt on a couple of pitches here at RGA. He's an explosion of talent and versatility. He's quick, sharp, and proactively stimulating. Alongside his agency commitments, he's running his own creations, which are feeding his imagination and frankly are quite inspiring. I mean, these are just like amazing recommendations, like that just really incredible stuff. Uh, so I think that, you know, maybe he doesn't have the team that, you know, is putting their name behind this. I mean, there's not that much on this website, right? Yeah. It's just that picture. It's just this video. That's it. They're going to make 8,000 unique NFTs, fully 3D and built to unite the eight multiverse style mm -hmm. by Digimental LDN. But still like the artwork is incredible. Like it's three dimensional, it, like the hair, like the fuzz and everything like that looks really, really good. I have a feeling that this is going to be an unprecedented number. Well, no, I shouldn't say that because actually Bonji started at 3.3. I think this is going to come in at like 1.5, 2.0. Uh, and that's going to be like, I, I think it's going to be a hot piece. I, a lot of, you know, the, I was a little concerned because something happened in their Twitter. Uh, they're up to 34,000 now. 
they were at 30,000. Then they dropped down to 24,000. Then they went back up to 34,000. I don't know what happened there. Maybe they got a couple of bots that had to be removed and things like that. But, uh, you know, again, maybe they'll, you know, they haven't really even said when they're going to launch this. So that's, that's the right way to do it, right? Build the audience, get them all excited. And, uh, you well, know, they have like, they have 74,000 now on Discord. On Discord, yes. 74, yeah. you're seeing 74? 74. So they need another 2,000 via Discord just this morning because I checked that number, it was 72,000. So they yeah. need another 4,000. But, you know, you do, so Discord, we have to kind of be careful with because bots can come in there, yeah. uh, you know, duplicate, you know, things can go on. If everybody's trying to grab one of these, if they announce the whitelist, you know, uh, all of that. Uh, but I, I, I like this. This is this is definitely a project that I'm going to watch and see because I think that they could do some really great things. Of course, they don't even have a roadmap. We're not even sure what they're going to be doing. Uh, but it, there's definitely the potential there that they could uh, that they could have a really successful run. They're, they're saying that there'll be a pre-sale. Oh, yes. On the Discord, they're saying that? Yeah. Will there be a pre-sale event? You tell us. We're building a community. There will be a whitelist for your early supporters of the project. We want to avoid the problems the problems other projects have had with bots and be fair and equitable to everyone. Yeah, you know, we're looking at that for our project as to how to be, well, you know, fair. That's, a, that's an interesting question, right? Because we are a gallery. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think fair necessarily plays into galleries, right? When you go into a gallery on Madison Avenue, you know, if, if you're not really knowledgeable and you don't really have the money, it's going to be a different relationship than if you walk in there and you clearly know what you're talking about and yeah. you really clearly have an enthusiasm, enthusiasm to one artist that's in there in that gallery. And then they can talk to you about the sale of those pieces and things like that. You know, I think that what we're doing, the project that we're working on kind of moves itself more towards art than it does maybe these um, kind of uh, generative art. I don't want to say not great quality, but I would, you know, I would say, Ill, you know, there's a difference between illustration and fine art, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I think a lot of the projects, not 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 Battle Verse and, and certainly not Hate Beast and certainly not Bonji, but, you know, other projects kind of fall into the illustration. And, and I should say, like, we're working with a, a comic book artist that's going to roll out a, a generative project with us as well. Uh, you know, we're very excited about that project. It is more of an illustration than a fine art, right? Yeah. But when you're talking about a fine art generative NFT series, the question is what really is fair, right? Because I have VIPs that I have to cater to, right? There are people that have bought pieces from us. There are people that have already said that they want to buy into this project. Um, I have to make sure that they're they're taken care of, right? Yeah, of and there course. are there are a ton of whales that are that are going to be interested in this project as well. And if I can have a day where the VIPs and the whales get to grab what they want, right? Because they have the money and they have the wallet to be able to to grab twenty, right? Because if I don't do that, then what's going to happen is if I open up the floodgates, those wallets those whales are going to hire bots that are going to connect to different wallets that are going to bombard the system and just like in Banji, crash the system so why not have a better relationship with those wallets and mm -hmm. say okay you want to come in here's the deal you can come in you're the first day you're 24 hours and you can buy 20 and these are people that have board ape yacht club they have crypto they have uh you know the crypto punks they have a lot of money in their wallets and they have that ability to spend. You're yeah. not going to turn around away someone who has a lot of money that they want to spend as opposed to, you know, the individual kind of flipper, right? You know, we want, we want to get away from those flippers, right? 
those people that are going to buy, you know, two and flip one immediately, lowering the floor. So what we're doing in our project is we're going to have the first day is going to be for VIPs and for whales. They're going to be able to buy 20. They're going to have to qualify themselves, right? Snoop Dogg qualifies, you know, uh, you know, other big name celebrities that we're having conversations with uh, are going to qualify. And then whales will kind of come up and say, you know, I want to buy 20 and that's fine. You know, if somebody wants to buy 20, they should be allowed to buy 20. That's how I feel. Yeah. But then the rest of everything that we're going to sell is going to be through whitelisting. And we're going to partner with other projects that are go that already have been successful, have a functioning and good community. And we will allow a certain number of those project members to then be whitelisted. And then each project will have a separate day where they can actually go ahead and mint. And I think that will get rid of the gas wars. That will get rid of the bots bombarding a website. It will be a better situation for everybody. Now, you know, people in the industry will say, and I've, I've already heard it, you know, that doesn't give me an opportunity to get in there and grab one. Uh, you haven't made anything public. Well, when we make something public, it skyrockets the gas. It, it brings in people that are just there to flip. And that's not what we're really trying to do. We're really trying to give the pieces to the people that really want them. And so, I don't know, it's, it's an interesting experiment. Nobody has done this yet, right? Nobody has said, we are whitelist only. Well, we're going to try to do whitelist only. But what if, um, what if you pick another network? instead of Ethereum and, and buying, like, paying more for gas than you're paying for the actual artwork. Here's the thing. As much as everybody is complaining about Ethereum gas on OpenSea, OpenSea, when you look at, I could, I could bring a chart, I'll send you a chart, of the difference, the disparity between the amount of sales that OpenSea gets on a daily basis and all of these others, whether it's Foundation, whether it's Rarible, whether it's Solana Art, whether it's Cardano, whatever it is, they are nowhere near. There is such a huge gap in sales between what OpenSea is doing on a daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis, and what all of these other websites are doing. So, and even in Polygon, right? Think about it that way. So Polygon is available on OpenSea, but you go ahead and you do a search for Polygon. There's not that many projects that are on Polygon. Now, you know, Battleverse is, is able to do that because they've already sold out of their initial offerings, right? Mm -hmm. so this is the next round. They're able to entice the people who spent the gas on Ethereum for the first project to now come into the second project on Polygon. So they're able to advertise directly to a group of people that they know that are going to buy it. So they're just making it easier for those people. But really, Ethereum, OpenSea is just light years ahead. Everybody wants everybody wants to buy something from OpenSea on the Ethereum chain. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, we have four more minutes. Um, yes. Do, do you want to talk about your project more, in, go into more details where it's at or if you have like sneak peek of it or you want to do that next week right so by next week we will have the website up the website will have the roadmap uh you know it all of our names are going to be on it all of our linkedin profiles are going to be on it uh we would love to get feedback at that point uh i'll be at the at the nft.nyc conference i'm going to show it to a whole bunch of people get their response i'm curious to see what they're going to say what i do want to say is that uh, in, this is interesting for, for just the future. So we have named the convention. The convention is going to be called FlexCon. FlexCon. Let me say that again. FlexCon. Um, and uh, that will be sometime in 2022. And the VIPs and the founders that are on the Trigonal uh, Discord Will, when they purchase the 20 and when, when the founders have the ability to purchase the five, that's what they're going to be able to purchase, they will then get an affinity ticket. And an affinity ticket, a VIP affinity ticket, will last them for as long as many years as we do this event. 
And hopefully we're as successful as, as successful as Comic-Con. And we're doing this for 20, 30 years. And those, I, it's 100 people will get that infinity ticket. So that's, uh, that's pretty much, that's, that's, the, the, that's it. That's what we're working on. And all of that will be revealed. Uh, let's see, when we do our show next Monday, we'll be able to, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be able to show you what that looks like. All right, cool. I'm excited yeah. about it. So, should we wrap this thing up? This has been a good show. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, if you like this content, please hit the like button and subscribe and add notifications. Thank you for watching. We will have an edit. Well, we will not have an edited version of this version of the show available midweek uh, and shorts to follow. Uh, we will probably have to get this to you at some point uh, the first week of November because. Right now, we are all hands on deck for building out the generative art, building out the website. Uh, we have a, a team of five total in our company, and everybody is working around the clock uh, to get this done and, and ready for everyone to say. All right, cool. Well, that's exciting. I'm excited to see this. Uh, even though uh, we, we talk it every day, we don't talk much about this project. Uh, so I'll, I kind of want to see it at the same time as you reveal it next week. So I'm kind of excited. Yeah, you know, I may even actually pass you the documentation that we're working with so that you can, can get a, an early preview as to what that roadmap is going to be. So I think it's I think it's a great roadmap. Uh, we're going to have a, um, a founders, uh, a, I'm sorry, a community chest. Uh, percentage is going to go back to the community. I think it's going to be really successful. Let's yeah. say goodbye to everybody. All right, guys. Thank you for watching and see you next week. Absolutely. Take care, everyone. Bye.